Now to disconnect it, take off the meter panel, you just pull it up at the front here and back. Now the connector under the meter panel is a bit fiddly to get out so you have to be careful here, just press down here where my finger is pushing and out you go. Now that was easier than I thought. Now to disconnect the speaker just pull back the rubber and press in the little tab and pull out the connector. Now the fairing side trims come off easy, just start at the bottom, just gently pry it out from the inside. Now with the fairing trim pieces off, we'll be taking out these bolts here, here, here. And here and also these ones here. These bolts are all five millimeter Allen heads. Now the four fairing trim bolts, the ones that you took out from here down here they're all different lengths so make sure you don't mix them up so if you have a look at them here this short one goes to here and the longer one goes here and the next short one goes just here and the last one with the collar goes down here Now the two bolts that come out of these two holes here are also slightly different. This one here, the shorter one, goes to this hole and this one with the deeper collar goes here. The left pocket's held down by four of these little clips. And to pop those clips out, you just push the center down gently. And pull the clip out. have these clips out just make sure to um, pop them back through again before you refit them just push the center back up left pocket out the right hand pockets held on by two Phillips screws and two clips Light adjuster panel will be coming out next, so first we have to disconnect the connector block, which is sitting on top of the, the, the grill here, the radiator grill. So, all you do to release that is pull this little clip back here and lift the whole thing up, and then with your two hands, just press this clip and pull, pull the block apart. And then just take the adjuster panel out. If you have fog lights fitted, just release that connector too. And then take the headlight adjuster panel away. Now under the pocket you have the navigation uh, panel connector. That's it. Now 
take the two screws screws from the ignition surround, two Phillips screws. And we have to release the cable from the vents on the left hand side. Are you ready? Now it's time to lift the shelter away. Just gently disengage it from the front here, the rubbers. Slowly lift it at the back. And then underneath we have to take away the radio connectors. And we disconnect the two connector blocks from the radio, pushing the clip here, pull them down. With the shelter off the bike, this is what you'll be looking at. So you can just start here. Now four cover bolts need to be removed, two each side, these two on the left. these two on the right side down here and here now you need to take off the two uh, air intakes so just the one Phillips screw on each side just the left one here removed <coughs> This is the right side air intake. We need to take this cover off now to get access to the air filter cover. So we should start by pulling some of these wires out of the way. Just pull up this cable clip and pull these wires out from the little brackets here. Give yourself some space. You'll see the air filter cover just underneath here and it's held on by seven screws, seven Phillips screws. Start taking the screws out. Now there's no need to try and fully remove these screws. They stay in the cover as you lift it away so you can't really lose them. Now I find the cover generally comes out best towards the left. Now, just put this back up here. Now you can see this air filter is probably in the bike since now it's fairly dirty. Now down here it looks fairly dry. You probably just need a wipe of a cloth. So I'd be fairly happy to just clean that up and put the new air filter back in.
Now, when lowering the shelter back down into position, just make sure that the radio sits in front of the drip tray. Sometimes they get, they get stuck and you can be puzzled as to why you won't go down. So just make sure it sits in front and lower the shelter down. Now, another thing to look at is make sure the shrouds are sitting properly, that they're under here. The screws will go down through the ignition core and into them. And also that they're sitting under here, just here, see? Yeah, that's the cable back in position.